Well, well, well. What do we have here? Alright, let's pause there actually. But, what do we got here? We got nothing. We got nothing there, and... Off to the races. We get 100%. Because this game is actually really fucking good, I love it. What do I need? Pretty impressive, remember the, the phone number? That's funny actually. to forest ravine. Pretty sure it's that one. I want to try something. Okay, that didn't do it. <laughs> Wasn't there a different one? She really shouldn't be here. Look how pitiful she is. My bride said, "Pitiful or not, she'd be a carrier." I replied, "But uh, okay, like exactly who are who exactly are you trying to protect?" Shook my head in frustration, ignoring myself and addressing the girl. Look, I feel for you. I just I'm not comfortable letting strangers stay in my home. Your leg is bandaged, so you're not going to bleed out. You can head down the same path you came from and just carry on to wherever you were headed. So sad already. Girl bowed her head. I can give you a jacket if you want. And maybe I've got a spare flashlight laying around somewhere. Heck, I'll even throw in a granola bar. She removed her leg from my lap, nodding. She wasn't even saying anything, so why did I feel so damn guilty? The good news is, it's not raining as hard anymore. I, I understand. I really, really do. It's just... I've been walking for such a long time. I'm so very tired and cold. Can I... Can I at least hang your shed or something? Just until morning. I stared at her. She really was awful... Awfully pitiful. That has got to be the most pathetic request I've ever heard. Ah, screw it. Forget what I said. Stay the night. You can sleep on my couch. She looked at me, then her eyes flooded with surprise and relief. Oh, thank you, thank you! Yeah, just remember it's one night, and we need to stay far away from each other. I moved back, making more space between us, and sat to examine the rip of my pant leg. Meanwhile, my brain tried to fathom what was happening. I had brought a stranger into my house. I didn't know who she was or where she'd come from. This seemed like a bad idea, and, so, and a tad surreal. Damn. I liked these pants. Oh no, did you get hurt too? No, it's just a rip. Alright, we're gonna go down the route of 
trying to insist on the answers. You need to tell me. He said as firmly as I could, but the look she gave me in response, big eyes with quivering made me instantly back down. Um, at some point, I mean, don't worry about it. You're here now, so just take the opportunity to get some rest. I scurry around and grab her some money to maintain a wide berth as we drop them on the couch. I offered her a glass of water, went out of the bathroom, asked if she needed anything from far. This is perfect. Thank you so, so much for everything. Truly, I'm lucky to have met you. So yes, this is outrageous and unfair. Let's let me say that because I want to see what happens when we go down that path. Jake's burn is then slowly pointed aggressively at the mess on the floor. My potatoes! Oh my! If only I had known how strongly you felt about root vegetables, I wouldn't have. Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? This is my home. You're not even supposed to be here. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll make sure everything is clean and perfect before I go. Not another heavy sigh. I felt a bit bad for snapping at her, but I just couldn't deal with it now. Turned away and went to haul on work uh, on my work gloves and boots. I'll be out in the yard for a while. did I get myself into? For real, I can't believe. Oh well, she'll be gone soon anyway. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I doubt she could be caused much trouble with a box of clothes. If anything, I should be questioning the simple fact that she's still in my house. Hadn't we agreed she would leave in the morning? But I didn't say anything because, oddly enough, it was kind of nice having someone puttering around making noise here and there, reminding me that I wasn't alone. Remind me of my youth, of the summers I spent in the cabin with my family. Anyway, if she wanted to hang around and head out later in the day, when there was less sun, that was her call, as long as she didn't wreck anything else. I hyped focus on my screen, and in another couple hours, I still had nothing done. Suddenly, it was dark out, and I started I'm starving, and Mallory still hadn't left. In fact, she was in the kitchen, and there were nice, savory smells wa wafting my way. I logged off and shut my computer down. Quickly but casually, making my way over to her, I found her tending to three separate, separate pots on the stove, all of them simmering and steaming pleasantly. How dare she. Nothing was burning this time either, which made me feel feel annoying which made me feel annoying feelings like impressed and kind of excited to be to eat that. Mallory noticed me standing there. And smiled way too brightly. Oh, good, you're finished working. That's perfect because supper is ready. And then we tell her she's been wearing the towel all day. I suppose you could join me if you'd like. I'm gonna change the subject this time. Well, short, because, um, chickens aren't very tall. <laughs> you know what is tall, though? Aliens, I bet. So what are your thoughts on the possibility of intelligent extraterrestrial life, anyway? You know, I thought I saw a UFO once, but it turned out it was just one of those wacky inflatable flailing arm things that got loose from a car lot. So look of this man at Mallory's face and let my voice trail off. She choked one of the baby chicks, deep in thought. I guess life is always too short, no matter who or what you are. Yeah, I guess it is. 
Marley leaned down to nose the chick again, whispering. I love you, little chick. Have a really fun day, okay? I feel like I've missed something. Uh, Delete it. I really need a better spam filter. Delete the new message and exit my email portal. Hold up the weather forecast. Partly cloudy this morning with a chance. That's better avoid the subject, I want to say. Scratch the end of my nose and fix my eyes on the compost bin beside her. Lots of dandelions, huh? Nasty weeds. Did you know you can actually eat the leaves? She looked down at them in surprise. Hmm. I don't know about that. I seem to remember trying to eat one when I was little and it was disgusting. They're only good when the leaves are young. Once they get too old, they turn bitter. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> it took her a moment to process the joke, but when it clicked, she burst out laughing. Her laugh made me laugh too. Oh, it's Mallory's stomach. Tell me something one. about how you grew up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Oh yeah, this one. Wakey, wakey. Okay, you leave me no choice. Incoming pet attack. I love her voice of this because she's so enthusiastic about it. Oops, did I scare you? Well, you left me no choice. I tried calling you, throwing things at you, and wafting delicious smells in your direction. None of those worked, so this was my last resort for getting you to wake up. And it did the trick. You're awake now. <laughs> I think deleting the spam is what I want to do. Get out of here, spam. Nobody likes you. Not thinking about it more than that, I deleted both emails. I spent a few minutes checking some websites that are part of Oh yeah yeah. Let me help you down. I hit skip. Okay, it was read. Seeing through the trees, both options. You were get tricked by the chance to start down the footpath into the woods. I ran as fast as I could over the uneven ground. The bee, but boy, flashly, bounced shook hardly, making it any easier to see. Branches whipped me, and roots trip tripped me, and I couldn't make myself stop or slow down. I didn't know where I was. I couldn't see anything. I just kept running, panting hard, every breath a stabbing pain. My foot caught something, a root or a rock. I pitched forward, moment, momentum throwing me head over heels, not in a good way. The flashlight went flying off to the bushes somewhere instead of slamming the ground. I seemed to just keep falling. I didn't feel the impact. I came to a sprawl. I came to sprawl across a bed of snap branches, rocks, and hard packed earth, water trickled somewhere nearby, a stream or a brook. The sky was still dark and everything hurt. I tried to move, pain stopped me, something was definitely broken. I managed to crane my neck, blinking my eyes, opened as wide as I could, the forest sloped up and over a head, dizzy sight like an optical illusion. Oh no. No. I had fallen, 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 fallen into a dark ravine. As we get for splitting through a dark forest all willy-nilly. Tears clouded my vision, 
Oh, brain. Hurry. I didn't move again. I tried harder. I couldn't get up. But my leg twitched and I noticed a rip in my pant leg. These are the same pants I've been wearing the night I met Mallory. And one of them coming to the cabin, that tear had been fixed with the heart patch. Remember Mallory taking that box of clothes and seeing her later with a needle and thread as she worked to stitch up rips and fasten buttons. But she hadn't just mended these pants, she embroidered them, left a sweet token of herself and her ability to love and care for others. My heart swelled and ached. All I wanted to do was cry. Why did this hap have to happen? Why did I have to lose everyone I dared to love? My head was spinning, spinning so fast I felt like I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. I felt like maybe I would die here. I came to understand that I had no hope for reaching Mallory. Laying cold and broken at the bottom of the forest ravine, I cried. I'm sorry, Mallory. I'm so, so sorry. All I had now were thoughts of her and what would become of us. Maybe I'll see her again, I'll become a ghost or something. But what if I can only haunt this specific forest ravine? Damn. Show up a little too late, that seems difficult. Like, straight up, it just sounds difficult. Like, I don't know what I want to do about it. How Shakespearean. I'm at 90% completion. Wait, these are not to be the two last ones. No. Please. No, did I run into Granny? I ran into fucking Granny Mio and we're gonna die again. Oh, thank you. Hello, dear. How can I help you? Wow, the Why? How do I get to jump? about what more could I have wanted if I don't do that he dies
<clears throat> I suppose. Well. Taking your sweater off. Huh. Tell me something. I feel like I'm sleeping. missing something at the same time. Let me help you down. I don't remember what more could I have won. Okay, that's not where I think I should do that. I suppose. Well, taking your sweater. Huh. Tell me something about. Good morning, sleepyhead. Let me help you down. What if I do this? Oh, felt a cold dread. Didn't know the number. I looked down at Mallory's face in the beautiful hope in her, her eyes. No, thought my brain humbly. No, no, this can't. I can't. Can't let her know. I thought. Call in response. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop it. All right, how the hell do I get to her too late and jump? How hmm. Shakespearean? What Shakespeare play would it be? No. I don't remember. What more could I have won? You need to. I'm gonna go down the slightly evil path. Uh, 
<clears throat> You've done more. Well, Tell me something Good morning, sleepy. Get out of here. Wait, what happens? Let me articulate I got that in, so it doesn't matter. something about Good morning Get out of here I, I need a fucking need a hint. Steamy Bun Games? They don't include PC, they include the Switch, Linux, Macintosh, operating systems. That's it.
Oh, really? Okay, so we need to, get to read this spam, maybe. We... Well, really, I just need to actually get to delete the spam, continue through the trees, head for the planetarium. I need to set the trap. I don't remember much. What more could I have? I suppose doesn't seem like that matters. Well, taking your sweat. Huh. Tell me something. Good morning, sleepy. Let me help you. Delete the spam. Go through the trees. Head to the planetarium. Behind you. Wait for me. Wait, what? I could tell she was starting to fade. He did the same for me. Fill me with hope, I mean. You have no idea how stale and lifeless my days were. I had been alone for so long that I forgot what it was like to enjoy all the simple pleasures I had. You helped me remember that joy, and you made me smile every single day I spent with you. Tears began to roll down my cheeks, but I kept my voice as light as cheerful as I could. Her eyes were now focused on the sky. And I sensed the color beginning to fade from her cheeks. She was fading fast. I didn't know how much more time I, I had with her. An invisible knife was turning in my stomach. Sorrow welled up in Mallory, and she let out a strained cry, letting the gravity of my silence sink in. She knew we were both doomed, and that there was nothing we could do about it. I'm 
so sorry. You would be okay if you just never met me. I'm really sorry. You don't need to have any regrets. Because having you in my life has been the best thing to ever happen to me. So don't you dare regret anything. Too weak to wipe away our tears, they fell on, on the cold concrete blocks where we were resting on. A chill breeze blew up the side of the building and carried it with the stale smell of pavement. I hope I can make it up to you in our next life. The voice shut off the same time as the wind died down. Now everything was still and silent. Mallory's hand slid off my lap, fell to the ground, slowly watched her eyes. Closed one last time, and a quiet peace fell over us. All the color had left her soft cheeks, and I felt her presence leave me. The sunrise shone a bright beam of light on us, almost as if we were players in a tragic play caught under the spotlight. Softly, I grazed my hand across her cheek to feel warmth one more time before she turned cold. I'll be right behind you. Wait for me. The heavy sigh I got on one knee and slipped my hands and I and slipped, slipped my hands underneath Mallory's lifeless body. With these I managed to lift her up in my arms. She was always much lighter than I expected. I held her and looked over to the sea one last time, the sun continued to rise in the sky, and soon I knew the residents would be waking up somewhere back at the cabin. I imagined my rooster was crowing, apologized to him and the hens, knowing that I wouldn't be back time to feed them. In that moment, nothing felt real anymore. While it did make me happy to hear people would finally have a cure and sadness would end, I only feel bitter resentment myself. Raven was calling loudly somewhere nearby. Numbness set in and even the sun's warmth had no power over me anymore. I couldn't feel anything I didn't want to anymore. Looked down at Marley's delicate face and studied her perfect lips, pale cheeks, whisper, she was all I wanted. So then we would, so then we would be together. This game is fucking insane. If you ask me, like, straight up. This is a deep as fuck game. Like, I wasn't expecting this, but holy shit. endings. There's nine now? Alright, this one's on easy. New game. Actually, wait.
There are call card they need to leave it where it's at. Right? Oh, save two. Join the garden. I suppose. Well. Taking your sweater. Sure. Huh. Where do you see? Good morning. Read the spam. Continue through trees. Search in the city. Well, spam. Avoid. Huh. Favorite. Tell me something. Wait, I just did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. Fuck.
I don't remember much about what more could I have won? Here's a cave. Rough night. I suppose. Well, huh. tell me something. I'm supposed to go to. Good morning, sleepyhead. I don't remember. What more could I. I suppose. Well, huh. where do you see your? My heart told me to just keep looking for her, so I did. I carried on down the street. Oh, wait. I'm looking for a girl. Please, have you seen a girl wearing purple? Her name is Mallory. Do you know where I can find her? Someone must have seen her, but no one would tell me. No one would say. Searched for a long, long time. It was a slog. My head spun. After a while, I couldn't feel either my feet anymore. And I saw a small crowd gather on the street of head, people wearing gloves. And I saw a small crowd of people gathered on the sides on the street up ahead, people wearing gloves and masks, some some of them sitting and crying, some of them standing together and shaking their heads. There's a van with silent lights parked nearby. Not an ambulance, but a dark, non-emergency vehicle, the kind that came to collect people once they passed. The last time I'd seen a van like that was when my parents died. I wandered towards the nearest group of people, stopping a little ways away from them. What happened? The small group exchanged a glance. One of them answered in a somber tone. Someone jumped off the planetarium building. It's fucking Mio speaking. Oh no. Yeah, it happened a couple of hours ago. Just after the sun came up. She was just laying there in the street. I'm glad they were finally able to send someone to take the body away. There's a strange, horrible, sinking feeling in my gut. Raven was calling out 
loudly somewhere nearby. It was a girl? Yeah, just a young woman. A teenager, maybe. So freaking sad. Could have been Mallory, could it? Before I knew it, I was looking across the road trying to see something, anything. I saw blood on the ground. I saw city personnel lifting something wrapped in a tarp, lifting it up and to the back of the van. I saw a mud-stained purple shoe forgotten in the gutter. The whole world came crashing down around me because somehow I've, I found her, only I was too late. Turn to the cabin alone. The whole scene looked wrong somehow. The land and the trees, the cabin itself, all looked dried out and colorless. There was nothing welcoming about this place. Nothing that felt warm or safe. Near the front porch, I found a package that had been left outdoors for too long. The heart it must sank. Must be that order I placed for drone delivery, with the first aid kit and the aspirin and. Do you wish you'd never met her? Yes, that's a lie. Of course it is. But I wish I'd made different choices. I wish. I wish I hadn't lost her. Yeah. Thanks, Wind. And then nothing. Uh, maybe I'll get str- At least that would be something you look forward to, meeting Mallory again. Then... Oh yeah, alright. Uh... As I turned and reached for the door, something purple seemed to flash in the corner of my eye. For the briefest moment, I thought it was Mallory, but of course, there was nothing there. Someday, someday, I thought to myself, heading inside, I shut the cabin door behind me and went to put on the kettle. Those must be the not safe for work ones, then. Did it say when I got it for 100%? February 14.
wow This game is so good. Let me read patch notes, because fuck it. What else am I going to do with my life? Here in Great League, the build has a whole list. Here's a list of changes I've changed or with this build. Added achievement counts the top achievement page. Modifications to achievement page such as spacing and ray casting. Then support for animations to the gallery may be useful for future or other content. Allow key bindings to be visible via settings pop-up, additional add additional save slots, fix several audio. Files typos. Wow, there's actually still several audio file mess ups. Wow. Well, thanks for everyone else finding them. Hopefully, they'll be. Hopefully, they'll be done with all the typos and audio issues. Because those are always the interesting ones to find. In-game achievements that were impossible to earn. What? Fix an issue with some Fumi death scenes that were causing a background to swap to an unrelated death scene. Large changes to Bonnie's second date and Elle's fourth date. Fixed a few dates. It's impossible to earn any plus in certain situations. God. All right, will I be the king of Hush Rush if I play it? Wait, I get the... No, I got World of Warship stuff from Mio Australia. Oh my god, Mio.
a whole 10 fucking pages of save slots? Double the save slots. Just straight up. It's incredible where this game brought me in my channel. Oh, I don't want to, but I'm probably gonna have to do the Mio Deaths, and I don't want to. What the heck is this emote? My goal for tonight is to try to get all the death scenes over with. At least, okay, the chibi ones. Unless, you know, I already fucking have two of them. I, I don't know. Pick the gun up. You slowly and purposely, slowly and purposely, you pick up the gun. What do you do? Let's get Alice out of the way first. 
So we can come back for Bella. Raise the gun to Alice, who nods profusely. Yep. That makes sense. No! Don't kill her! You shoot her, she makes a cry of pain and surprise and goes still. Bella breaks down into sobs. <laughs> Dorian's voice returns. Very good. Now we can talk. Oh, so the other one's Bella. Alright, load the game. <laughs> Goodbye, Bella. You raise the gun to Bella and she begins to cry and beg for her life. No! No, please! You sure she makes her cry of pain and surprise and goes still? Alice looks away, she doesn't say anything before Dorian's voice returns. Very good. Now we can talk. I don't, I don't know what to say. Because it ruined the perfect ending to a sense by doing that. I still refuse to go look up shit for this fucking game. Like, I just don't want to. Alright, L, I'm sorry. Probably do, I just don't remember at the current moment in my life. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. For a moment, I was like, ah, shit, I fucked it all up. I've already fucked it all up with Yuru. Just straight up.
I'm more of trying to speedrun it. Do I have a save file? This is so far in the future, I can't be here. I didn't even fucking read it. No, wait a minute. Fuck. Here. I'm actually, so, tell me a bit about your. <laughs> yeah, you like some. <laughs> Thanks. No. Thanks. Oh, sure. I guess. What's on your mind? Choose something random because I need this one. Oh, 
Uh, let me save. I'll probably delete it later because I don't want to save. I'm in a fucking loophole where L will never fucking go, oh my god. Alright, fine, fuck me. I think Bonnabelle would probably prefer a Jewish stand up for her. Yeah, so I like to hit the. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> Close. Hard. Thanks. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> Tread carefully. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh. Nope. Nah. I ran a 223. It's... Yeah. I'll, if I call correctly, you won't really care if she gets to not. Well, I'm 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, now. Maybe it's supposed to get both of their deaths. Uh oh. The right hand can't be immediately spot Bonnabelle. She leaps. Their being gives you a, a hug. Well, hello there, sugar. Why don't you look like a little old chocolate chip cookie looking for a tall glass of milk? <laughs> Bless your heart, darling, for ringing me up. I think my evening plans were mostly vacuuming, so you have officially spared me from a life of boredom and solitude. What else can I say, actually? Like, I cannot say shit else. It's only it is, but don't make sure. This coffee place is the bee's knees, sugar. The gal in here is an artist. You've heard of magic beans? Well, she's the one who makes them that way. <laughs> Just keep an eye on her brother. You'll spot him a mile away. Charm a little troublemaker him. Shall we roll out the red carpet and get on with it? Got any objections to coffee and conversation? No, this is going to be sort of cool, because I... I wanted this to go and kill L. Shit, that's how you're supposed to kill L. You don't meet her. At least that's a way you can kill her. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck, man? So I did all of that work for 20 minutes just to realize that I can kill her by not even meeting her. Which means I don't meet Bonnabelle, which means I don't end up here. Like, honestly, I don't end up here, I just... What? Why? I cannot live without coffee, I'm so glad we're here. Given? <laughs> Give him present company. You're to have a grand time just waiting in line at the bank. Hold up. Given present company, I figure I have 
a grand time just waiting in at waiting in line at the bank. Eh, that doesn't sound that that bad. But you know me, terrible at party. Coffee and cars, they should real vitamin C's. Let me add them. Amen, sugar. Throw in a cake and ice cream, and you got everything a Bonnabelle needs to thrive. <laughs> a Bonnabelle? Holy shit. So, so in other words, her cousins, her sisters, they're all a Bonnabelle. Holy shit. Let's go in and rustle up a latte. <laughs> Aloha and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Say that again. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Bro. I don't know. Well, I need to type this out. Can't type worth the shit. It sounds so different. Oh, Miss Valentine, I love what you have done with your hair. It is like a glorious sunset lighting the ocean waves. Oh, sugar, you're a regular bouquet in a bowl. I wish I could make cupcakes half as sweet as you. Ooh, damn! Gracias, Miss Valentine. So, what can I do for you today? The usual? Latte, extra milk, and sugar? And salt the rim, if you would, darling. I'm feeling a dash adventurous today. What if I feel like I did this date? And for you, friendo? Coffee, cold, black. I love a normal brown, but... I'll have a caramel mac mac chido with sprinkles. One tai chi. What? One tai chi chai tea latte extra chai. No, we're not doing that. We're doing fucking sprinkles. Ooh, maybe that's what I want instead. Make mine just like that too. You go from feeling adventurous to being dull and boring like me by putting sprinkles on anything. Of course, Miss Valentine. Two festive macchiatos coming up. Isn't she such a darling? This place used to be run by a trio of hipsters who liked mixing and matching ingredients and giving them funny names. <laughs> I've got nothing against hipsters or creativity, but one day they offered me something called junk spunk and I noped out of there on the double. Anyway, little Lotus there has been running things for a year now, and everything is hunkadory. Coffee is like kissing. You need it often and by someone who knows how. Don't you agree, sugar? 
How can I agree with something that I've never experienced? That's like walking up to someone who doesn't know how to drive a car and asking them if they like driving this car or that car. And, well, yeah, okay, they're asking on a car-to-car -car basis, but, like, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I know what I'm going for. Like, my coffee is the way I like my woman a whole lot. Good baristas are the world's most precious resource. And for sure, also because I like to throw a little whipped cream in the in there from time to time. <laughs> Don't we all, sugar? Don't we all? So tell me more about yourself, sweet cheeks. I reckon you're new to town since we've never run into each other before. No, I'm not new to town. I've been here like four fucking times. Either that, or you secretly hate baked goodies. And this relationship is already doomed to failure. <laughs> I'm here on vacation for the month. So I got hit with extra work. Just so I got here. You're not my love for pastries. It's only not done by admiration for charming accents and pretty eyes. Just visiting, I got something important to do while I'm here. I can't really talk about it. Though. <laughs> Good gracious, darling. You really like to lay those sweet nothings on thick, huh? By the way, I feel I should stress that I didn't ask you to stop. Why, hello there, Miss Bonbon. As always, it is my great privilege to serve you. How is my favorite customer today? Out in the sunshine, where all beautiful girls belong. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dimitri! How's my little caramel apple doing? I'm doing right as rain during drought season adventure. I am so happy to hear it. Dimitri is good. He is, how do you say, full of life and fire and chocolate-covered coffee beans. Dimitri! What are you doing? Ha-ha-ha! Lotus, my beautiful sister. I am bringing our dear customers their drinks. Can't you see how thirsty they are? I told you not to bother Miss Valentine on her date! I put the No Dimitri sign on that drink tray for a reason! <laughs> no Dimitri. Until you learn not to flirt so shamelessly with everyone, you stay in the back and make espresso. Oh, that's all right, darling. Dimitri was being a perfect gentleman. Do you see? Even a beastly man like me can clean up and reform his scandalous ways. <laughs> you are too kind, Miss Valentine. And patient. And sweet. Even to the biggest fools. I feel when I play this game next year... On August 22nd, I'm going to be giggling my fucking tits off. This is going to be so funny. Well then, deliver the drinks and give him space. Go, go, go! Here you are, my dear friends. If you need anything else, please do not hesitate to summon me. Thank you, darlings. Aren't those two just cute as cucumbers? They're so funny. Dimitri just can't help himself from getting under Lotus's skin. Dimitri, though. I'm never gonna get over it. Wait, what? That's the most stupid shit I've seen in a long fucking time and shit. Calling a streamer a noob and like, immediately getting perma banned for that shit. And it's on Asmund's channel where he never unbans people. So it's just, 
You're banned, you're forgotten. It's the best shit ever. I kind of love them. Wait, I got this already. Did I? I didn't then. Oh boy. I kept willing to give them my I keep I kept willing them to give me my drink before they continued the show. That theory tree is a bit of a smooth talking. Hey. <laughs> you know it, sugar. He's one of those keep an eye on types. Otherwise, he'll be sweet talking you over the counter, and the next thing you know, you're buying him a drink somewhere. Good lord. Mm. So I've been mostly talking your ear off, sweet cheeks. You barely gotten a word in edgewise while I've been clucking up a storm. I made a New Year's resolution to try and talk a little less when I'm in good company. And seeing as it's summertime and I haven't started yet. It's not looking good. Mm. So, feel free to ask me whatever's on your mind. I'm an open book with a fancy bookmark ribbon. <laughs> so you're a full-time baker, that's a sweet job. I've only been here a short time, but this job is giving you big spies, like... Like, it's fun, but also kind of, you know... My cookies are always a bit... Oh, me, bubbly. It's hard to describe. Any ideas? joke every waking day of my life <laughs> but in all seriousness I love it so much sugar I get to bake up a storm every day which fills me with the honey glow something fierce everyone who comes into my shop is so kind and friendly it's hard being a grouch when you're surrounded by a million calories of colorful icing and every so often a stranger wanders in who catches my eye I might toss a bit of flour on the girls to get their attention. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fooling. I can't waste an ounce of flour. It is not in my nature. If there's a light dusting on the girls, it is purely accidental, I swear. Sure. Mmm, I just got to the part of the drink where all the sugar sinks to. That's a little slice of heaven. My butter tarts, sugar. That's the kind of question a gal like me dreams about hearing on a first date. <laughs> I know exactly what the problem is. Bubbles mean you've got too much egg in the mix, darling. Either you're putting one too many in for good measure, or your eggs are too big. <coughs> the fuck? Scale them back or take a yolk out. That'll fix it right up. Now you got me thinking about cookies, sugar. You certainly guessed the weight of this gal's heart. Oh my, look at me gabbing on. See what happens, sugar? You give me an inch and I take a few country acres. Hmm, <laughs> well, I don't know if I know what you mean, sugar. Well, hold on, actually. To be fair, Subrosa has had its fair share of grim headlines and such. The difference between here on the shore front and downtown is about as night and day as it gets. Mm. Just last week, someone was shot and killed. Poor soul was found in a dumpster of all places. Police think it's drug related. Whoa. Anyway, that sort of thing is the exception around here. Hopefully they'll catch whoever's responsible and that'll be that. Oh, excuse me, I got distracted. Lotus is putting out the fresh cookies, and I like scoping out the competition. Mmm. -hmm. Forgot to cheers. Here's to good coffee and great company. Oh, cheers, darling. All right, sugar. I've got a few questions for you. Nothing too prime, just a little test of character I like to throw into the mix on a first date. Feel free to pass on them, but just know you are being judged. <laughs> first question. What's the best way to measure flour for a recipe? Stainless steel measuring cups or a scale? 
What kind of woman are you again? I forget. Like, this is the hardest part. Second one sounds good. That's right, sugar. Maybe that question was too easy, but you'd be surprised how many people are going through life with question number two. What is the proper way to cuss someone out? Do you say, bless your heart, or you're as sharp as a throw pillow? Oh no, if it busts your heart, I have been <laughs> grossly disturbing my friends in Kentucky feel about me. Throw pillow bird. Holy smokes, can you turn down your voice? I can't believe you just said that in public. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, you're just 50 shades of delightful. All right, last question, sugar. If a gal in a corset comes moseying up to you, what is the good and proper way to address her ample bosom, which she obviously puts so much effort into? No. Well, it probably wasn't going to happen anyway on day one. We got a sudden quick peek, and I joined the afterburn. Wait. I didn't know that's what you could call the sun. Peripheral vision was in invented for its purpose. It's too dangerous to look directly. Not a bad plan. Just make sure you don't do the weird wide eyes stare. I'd rather you just look, to be honest. Gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> you hear a phone alarm which startles Bonnie. and get a cake in the oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just turning the heat up to cook them faster. Darling, the time just flew by. I had such a wonderful time. I'd sure love to get together again and do a little dinner and dancing. Are you busy next week? My schedule or my calendar just suddenly cleared up. It cleared completely. Wonderful, sugar. I can't wait. Thanks for being a sweetheart. I'm looking forward to returning the vapor. Don't be a stranger now. After a while, crocodile. Alright, let's do what we need to do. Sorry, El. You're gonna die. No, we first go out with... The bakery, I have to avoid the bakery at all costs. Oh no.
This is the best song. Change my mind. I know it's just a short song, but still, it fucking vibes. Oh yeah, that's right, don't do that. Let's get some wolf. All we need to do is avoid the bakery.
I didn't need it to though, but it did. Oh no, you didn't! So that's how it is, is it? You're one of those grandma gators always talking smack online about shit they don't understand. Mince uses organic roses and a sophisticated extraction process to create subtle, complex floral notes that interact with your own body chemistry. If it smells like a grandma to you, that's just proof of the garbage genetics used to create your sense of smell. She says process. You'd better take that back or my first KO is gonna feel like a love tap compared to what's next. We're going to the top, but I don't suppose you would accept the answer if I find grandma's attraction. You what? No! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> alright, alright. You keep giving me that goofy look like you want me to wave a magic wand and forgive you for peeking at my tush. Uh, tush, tush. Uh? What are you- <laughs> I have to go to the cafe, no. Look, two more days and then L can finally be at rest. This is where I meet Alpha. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, um, thank you. You too. I love her voice. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you. But I'm being serious. This is serious business. I get recognized a lot. It's actually very rare that someone doesn't know who I am. I love how her voice sounds like she's just gonna mush all the words together, but she doesn't. Haven't you heard of Alpha? The Alpha Prelude? The Alpha Experience? Tender is my tenderized heart? Sleepy Kitten Connection? My Dumpster Fire Family? That makes so much more sense. Like, right there. My data analysis team assured me that I had achieved 99.87% market penetration for your demographic. Okay, I'm going to watch your face super closely though. 
If it starts frowning, I will instantly meet myself. I would like to ask you on a date. Because I've never had a date with someone who didn't know I was famous. <laughs> oh yes! That's wonderful! Thank you for accepting my date! Who needs a calendar in this game? when it comes to the great feud between water and kitties. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of... I see. Very... I understand. Oh! Oh, it... That's... Hee-hee! <laughs> hmm <laughs> Wait, is this it? Is this where I was fucking dead? Good. A girl was questioned about her relationship with you. And when asked if you were intimate partners, she died of apparent embarrassment. Can you explain this? No. Okay, I already got that one. A girl was questioned about her relationship with you, and when asked if you... Good. It... A girl was questioned about her relationship with you, and when asked if... No, don't tell me it's the same one. A girl was questioned about her relationship with you, and when asked if you were intimate partners, she died of apparent embarrassment. Can you explain this? How is this possible? Well, I think we'll just leave this here because it's a lot of talk, and it is what it is. You know? What do I care? I do care. What do I care? I still do care. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next stream. See ya!